3,600 students, 506 employees, seven buildings. We have a lot of technology. And technology is one of those things that when it's new, it's new, and the next day it's already old. So we are always on a cycle of replacing all of the technology so our kids and our teachers have what's the most current um, and the most helpful to them. The tag money is something that helps us tremendously and we have earmarked it at Tahlequah Public Schools to help with our technology replacement cycle. And that means it helps us with teachers' uh, computers, it helps us with uh, Chromebooks for each of our students. We also have um, interactive TVs or what people probably know as smart boards. It would be really difficult having to stress financially because I need basic things that I'm lucky that my school provides. If I couldn't afford to go get pencils, then. I would be stuck. We couldn't do without the services that we get from that money, so we would have to find other ways to do that. And so it would be general fund expenses usually, and you, you know, $400,000 out of a general fund budget is a big hit, which probably means you have less staff and less teachers. It just makes it harder for us to help all of our students. It gives us the opportunity to do many, many different things for our students and our team members who serve them. That includes everything from transportation. So they're able to go to Native American Day at the state capitol, in the Unity Conference during the summers in Washington, D.C. It just gives them the ability to get out and, and be a part of important activities. Now in high school joining clubs and whenever I went on the OKC Thunder trip, I was able to figure out who else was Native and who else I could relate to better. It's helped me to connect with my heritage and I've learned a whole bunch with all sorts of things like history, basket weaving, that was really fun, with students who are Cherokee like me or any other tribes really. I've gotten help with scholarships for my concurrent classes at NSU. I've used it this year and then I'm applying again for senior year. Yeah, as a junior I was able to take two concurrent classes. And so they paid for all my books and expenses for that. So it paid for the whole thing. Hopefully leaving high school, I'll be a year into college already. So they got me a big step ahead. Pointing them the, in the right directions on stuff like that. They're, they're just little everyday victories you feel good about and, and kids moving in the right direction to be successful, to, to break generational hardships. The partnership between TPS and Cherokee Nation is probably one of our most valued partnerships. 60% of our students uh, at Tahlequah are Native, and about 91% of those 60% are Cherokee. So many of our students benefit from many of the things outside of school. They help us with the tag money, they help us with backpack money, they help us with STEM money and robotics kits. Um, they provide field trips, they provide teachers and cultural specialists that come and do things for our students. It's so impactful here in this community. That is one of my main focus in my office is to make sure that every child is registered if possible. We partner with Cherokee Nation in our pre-K center with the three-year-olds and we're making contact with those families. We're telling them how to get in contact with the registration office, where to go, all the steps, all the documents they need. It only has benefits, you know, whether it's health care, clothing, food, college, housing, all of it. There's so many impacts that Cherokee Nation makes that everybody should want to be a, a tribal citizen. We feel so grateful for the relationship that we have with the Cherokee Nation. We're working right now on, on language projects. We really want to bring uh, the Cherokee language into our school district and we've had the opportunity to collaborate on ways that we can get that done. The support from the nation is specifically supports our Native American students, but in, in many different ways, it, it benefits our whole district. I would definitely thank them very much. I would encourage them to continue donating. I really enjoy everything that has to do with Native experiences. First, I would thank them because it's been fun going on all of these trips. And then I would try and make sure that I could like, lobby for them and make sure that they keep providing the funding and show them that it's actually helpful and educating. Thank you. You're helping out a lot of people. We are so incredibly grateful. I thank you just doesn't seem like enough. The, the benefit that Cherokee Nation has on our community, on our school district, on all the surrounding school districts is just immeasurable. Their reach is so far. I feel like everything they do, you can tell they care about this community.